In today's video, I am going to do my very first BoxyCharm unboxing. Now, I have been getting this service for over a year now, but this is actually the first one that I'm going to do on camera. So stay tuned. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. If you get any value out of this content, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Make sure you turn on all notifications. That way you are alerted of all my videos. I post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. and I am mixing things up a little bit. So hope you get some value and some enjoyment out of my content. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with my BoxyCharm unboxing. that is new to BoxyCharm. It is a monthly subscription. They have three levels of boxes. They have a base box, which is $25 now. Went from like 21, I think, to 25 in the last year. And then they have a premium, which is your next level. And the premium is $35. And for that, you're getting, I think, a product or two more and then a little bit of more variation. So there are, you know, some perks to going from the base box to the premium box. Now what I do, which is another option you have is I get the monthly base box which is the $25 box and then quarterly so basically four times a year they upgrade one of your boxes so you get four boxes a year so March June September and December now so of course this is September's box so the box is usually a little bit bigger because you are gonna get Few more you know a couple more products and they're all going to be full-size products again you do get to choose a little bit more with your upgraded boxy luxe so i again got the upgraded one there's your card and then it looks like this one is glam vibes only that's the theme of the month now at the very bottom of the card it's you can't you won't be able to see it from here i'll try to zoom that in a little bit but there is a number so they are variations there are several variations of each box so mine is 15 is what i have in here so we're just going to go down this is the first time i've opened it so so we are going to see together what we get here. Now, the only thing I almost did cancel my boxy charm. I actually at one point was nuts. I had like five or six different subscription boxes all at once because I just went head first craziness all in. So I did obviously wean it down. I got rid of Allure. I got rid of Birchbox. I got rid of Glossy Box, which I did like Glossy Box. Uh, I liked, I really liked the boxes. They were really pretty. And actually I did a video on that, which I'll have to uh, show you here eventually. Then I got rid of Ipsy. Now, Ipsy See, I did have two different boxes of theirs as well, but I uh, just for a while there, I really did like Boxy Charm the most, so I did keep it. But again, I've been kind of going back and forth whether to keep it or not, so we will see. But I am still getting it for now. So the first thing I have on here, we have Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream with Acerola Cherry. I don't know if I'm saying that correct, but let me see which one that is. Must be here. There's a little box. It says a super hydrating vitamin C rich eye cream that brightens and helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and dark circles. Delivers instant radiance to the eye area. Clean, fragrance free formula. And this is how to use. Tap and gently smooth around the eye area. May apply to brow bone for additional radiance. Use AM and PM. So this is what it looks like. I've actually gotten a few products from pharmacy. I really like their cleansing balm. It's like a really thick, you know, to remove your makeup. I do really like that. And I think it's called Green Clean or something like that, but I, I do enjoy that product. I haven't used a lot of their other products, but this is what it is. That's what it looks like. So it's a cream. Try a little bit, see what it feels like. Actually, surprise being that it's cherry, I thought I would have more of a scent, but I don't really smell much, which is good because I don't like scented products, like cleansing facial products. I don't like to have all that fragrance. Uh, it seems to be very nice. It's not real oily. Again, I, I don't like oily products either. So my skin, I have combo skin, but I do get really oily in the T-zone. So I try to avoid a lot of oils. It feels nice. It feels like it already settled into the skin. It doesn't feel oily, doesn't feel thick. So far, I like that. I'll have to give it a try. Now, it does say the MSRP on that is $45. Uh, again, something to consider. That's quite expensive. All right, so the next thing we have here is Eloise Beauty, the Queen Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, I love eyeshadow palettes. If you don't know anything else about me, if you've ever seen any of my videos, I love eyeshadow palettes. So I'm always excited to get an eyeshadow palette. And actually, I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Very, very pretty package. I had to blind me there, but ooh, I like that. So it's the Queen palette, possess immense energy of life, femininity, and strength. Each color tells a story, each color holds infinite power, and carries a unique narrative. Our colors are inspired by stories, tales, and legends of kingdoms, taking you through a journey in time from the past to the present, an era of femininity, 
grace and power. 20 pigment palette in four stunning textures. Eight buttery mattes, six shimmers, one pressed pearl, four metallics, and one duochrome topper. Ooh, okay. It says Eloise Beauty. They are located in, oh, London. Okay, so UK. Right. Very, very pretty. All right, I love the packaging. Oh, it reminds me a lot of the setup of BH Cosmetics and like iconic London, like the way the shadows are set up there. Kind of reminds me of that. Very pretty. Definitely I'm going to have to, you know, get outside of my box here, my neutral, boring eyeshadow box, because that's <laughs> pretty, <laughs> that's pretty pigmented and pretty bright. But I did want to just test. All right, so I'm going to try to get better here. Oh, that's pretty. About swatching, you know, the metallics. So that is what I'm focusing on here. So I'm I'm just gonna put a couple of these on, let you see them, and then tell you what I used. I'm gonna make sure I didn't get the same one because it almost looked the same. They're pretty nice. I mean, they're not the most pigmented. It's not a Sydney Grace. Again, if you know me at all, if you've ever watched my stuff, you know I love Sydney Grace. But uh, kind of the matte wasn't all that impressive, but that was a lighter color. So let me try, ooh, let me try this purple. Now that's, eh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Here's some swatches. So we have Jules is the first one, Rainy, Your Highness is that one. Then My Lady, I did a matte here, Sheba. And then the purple one is Majesty, if you could see those. I don't know, I'll have to try that out. Now again, nothing is wrong. There's nothing wrong with a lighter formula as well. I mean, you don't always have to go bold and crazy. Not everybody wants a high pigmented shadow. So might just work for certain people that like less pigmented shadows. But again, I think they're pretty. They're definitely, the, the metallics were definitely a nice, I have to give it a try here and see what we think. All right, so the MSRP on that one is $46. Like I said, it is a UK brand, but I kind of like their message. So we'll have to give that a try and see. Ooh, Persona Cosmetics. Oh, oh, I'm, oh, that's cool. I got their brush. I was actually looking online and I saw they had a little brush that came out, but oh, I'm glad I didn't order it. I almost did because I love Persona. I love all their products. That's another company if you haven't heard haven't seen one of my videos, you know I love Persona. I love that both eyeshadow palettes they have. And I love too because they're one of the brands that are very thoughtful about what they put out. They're not just putting out products left and right. I mean, I love ColourPop. I love some of these other companies, but you can't keep up. I mean, it was so crazy with ColourPop over the last year. And even ABH got a little crazy, but you just can't keep up. It's just, it's too much. Overwhelming, you know, overload. <laughs> so I do appreciate a brand that's really thoughtful, puts out, you know, specific products. Just let people get use those products, enjoy those products, you know what I mean? So we don't feel overwhelmed. And so I'm all for that. Persona Cosmetics, it is a dual-ended brush. Very, very cute. Oh, look at that. I'm upside down though. Sorry about that. It does say blush and highlighter. And it says that right on the brush. I like that color too. That's a pretty color. But it says Power Brush is your multitasking dual-ended best friend. This synthetic vegan brush allows you to highlight with one and seamlessly apply your blush with the opposite end. Designed for powder and cream applications. I don't know. That might work, but I feel like a cream product might be a little bit harder. It's not as densely packed. So I don't know if this would be as good for cream products. Now the highlight might be a little bit, it's a little bit more densely packed. I don't know. I like a really densely packed brush for cream products because again, you got to try to pick up the product and then, you know, place it. So I like a dense brush, but I definitely am going to try it for my powders because that's normally what I use anyways. This does retail for $24. And again, I love Persona. So definitely going to get some use out of that. The next one we have here is Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter. Oh, okay. Thank you, Fenty. The only thing though is this does look pretty colorful. If I'm seeing this correct, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty, but I'm a mature 42 year old woman. I'm not going to be putting purple highlighter on. You know what I mean? So it's kind of a shame. I mean, I love Fenty products, but this is definitely meant, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, no judgment or whatever you want to do. But for me, I'm just more in a neutral, but I will definitely try. Oh, you know what? Actually what I should have done. Let me go ahead and swatch it and show you what it looks like. So you have kind of a lavender side. Let's see if I can find room. I mean, it's pretty. I and mean, then that was more like a periwinkle, but there they are there. If you can see them, I mean, they're very pretty. Now that might work for eyeshadow. I might be able to get away with that. But like I said, for me, for highlighters, I'm more into like your golden tones or like ivories, champagne colors, those kind of things for highlights. Trust me, love highlights, but that might just be a little bit too much for me. It does see here, just when you thought Kilowatt couldn't get better, Kilowatt foil free style highlighters enter the game with the same creamy texture of the original in a mega reflective foil like finish with intense metallic edge these buildable color rich luminizers come in rule defying shades that look equally killer on all skin tones msrp on that is 36 dollars 
you know, La Fenty products. So if you like colorful stuff, give them a try. Let's see, next thing we have here is Frank Body Original Coffee Scrub. And I actually already have this. I don't know if I got it through BoxyCharm. During the holiday seasons, during Christmas, they had like a three pack and they had these on sale. So I did go ahead and pick up some of this body scrub. And I do really like the body scrub. I still do have the ones I had before, so I'm still trying to go through them. But this does say, meet my original coffee scrub, the one that made me famous. I'm natural vegan and ready to work my magic on breakouts, scars, cellulite, and stretch marks. I blend of coffee, vitamin E, and antioxidant rich oils keep your skin looking perky, even, and soft. I do love a good body scrub, so I will definitely put that in my repertoire of my other body scrubs. <laughs> so, you know, but I, I do really like the Frank Body body scrubs, so definitely give them a try. Another one here, and I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, Cuccio Somatology Calm and Clean Lavender Body and Hand Wash must be this one. I feel like maybe I got this one too before. See, that's the only thing about BoxyCharm is sometimes I feel like they just try to get rid of the stuff they've had like sitting around because I have definitely seen some repeat stuff. And actually uh, this BoxyCharm, usually they give you the option to choose like one or two products, maybe even more at this point. I did not choose. I let them just send me whatever they wanted to send just because a lot of times for some reason I haven't been getting the notifications like I used to. So I've been missing out on the better products anyways. So I just said whatever. And I got plenty of all kinds of products. So it really doesn't matter. Send me whatever you want is how I felt. I was happy to see that I got an eyeshadow palette though. So now again, I do feel like I have this or maybe it's just that I have this brand, but I have it in another product. Just wanted to at least see Epsom salt hand and body wash. Just wanted to see a little bit of like what the formula feels like. I don't want to put too much on though because it is a soap. Yeah, definitely smell the Epsom salt and lavender. Yeah, it seems nice and light though. It doesn't seem like really heavy. Yeah, I'll let you know what I think of that. That does say a new shower cleansing body and hand wash ritual made to calm the senses. Using the finest ingredients, Epsom salt helps muscles feel reinvigorated after the most intensive workouts. Pro vitamin B5 and shea butter help keep your skin feeling moisturized. Made with soothing and calming lavender oil. And the SRP on that is $39.95. The next one we have, which is one of the reasons I have kept with box subscription is these type of products. Three skin, 111 skin, however you say it, I don't know the correct way. Harley St. London and these products, oh sorry, I got it backwards there. <laughs> these products are expensive. If you look online, I've got a serum that I think is like almost $200 and I'm like, oh my gosh, like that's just crazy. This says $135, yes. See, now that is the one reason I do keep this subscription because I would not buy this on my own. And I don't know if I told you, but the upgrade for the Boxy Lux, which is the quarterly box, like this upgrade that I got is $50. But again, the other boxes I get are just the base box for $25. These are rose gold brightening facial treatment masks. $135, guys. And there's only five masks in here. Holy crap. But that's it. It's, and I'm sorry, but I'm not opening <laughs> one of these masks. Ooh, not for $135. Sorry, guys. Cool and all, but you know. This does say on the paper here, the ultimate pre-event mask. This hydrogel formula infuses the skin with radiance boosting ingredients for a glowing complexion. And like I said, MSRP, $135. Ooh, goodness gracious. But yeah, that's why I keep these boxes to get products like that because I would never spend that much on my own. Now, the last product I got in here is this Clean Skin Club Clean Towels. There they are, there's the box. Face towels, this kind of things are something that I don't buy. I just feel the waste. I don't like to buy those. I do have some leftover from when I was buying them months ago that I'm trying to use up, but I have not bought any in the last several months going on a year. So these say clean towels are the first disposable, organic, and 100% biodegradable face towel. Well, that's good at least. We created this product to complete any skincare routine in the best way possible, ensuring the skin is super clean and untouched by bacteria and germs that harbor on regular washroom towels. These towels are famed for their durability, ultra soft texture and leaving users feeling fresh, clean, and confident in their skin. They can be used to dry after cleansing or as a makeup removing cloth. I thought they were pre-moistened, but I guess they're not. So they must be like a dry towel and then you can moisten them up with whatever products to clean. So, okay. And the MSRP on that is $9.95. Well, that's all we have in our box here. So thanks for staying tuned. All right, guys, hope you got some good information out of that. If you get a box, let me know what variation you got, what products you received. And we're gonna keep BoxyCharm a little bit more time, opportunity, see here if uh, things start to improve. But in my last couple boxes, I wasn't all that impressed. So we'll see. But uh, I hope you got some value out of this. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're not already. Turn on all notifications. Uh, that way you'll get updated on my content Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Otherwise, guys, that's it for today. Stay safe, stay healthy. 
healthy. Make sure you wash your hands, like I always tell you, wear your masks, still social distance. And so I see you next time. Have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye. Bye. one is uh, a monthly one as well and that one again January April I just got September I don't know if I'm saying this right and then um, yeah January oh, what am I saying okay so you get them four times a year you get a box I think it's in January that they do the upgrade then you get your next one in March and then June and then this is the September box and then we'll get one, uh, oh, it must be December.